Skies are blue Skies are because blue. of you. Because of you. And seasons change. Seasons change. Now all it is where all our praises blue. belong to you. And there's no What's up? I'm Benaya. I'm Brittany. I'm Val. And I'm Brandon. And, and we're, we're the, the Barnes, Barnes Project. Project. So pretty much you were writing songs at the time. We were a praise team in the church at Tree of Life, Full Gospel Church. My grandfather's church. Um, it was me, uh, Brittany, Benaya. And uh, at the time, uh, I think I was like a senior in high school, right? And uh, Benai came to me and he, I started going with him to the studio and uh, started recording songs. And then eventually he gave it, the group the name to Barnes Project. And uh, I think Benai was the visionary and the, the origin of the, the whole group um, at the time. But, you know, me and Brittany came along. And, uh, and then we don't yeah. know whose idea, there's an argument over whose idea it was uh, to bring Val into the group. <laughs> I don't know whose it was. Our manager, every, yeah, okay. my husband, Jer, also <laughs> says that it was his idea, but we're one, so I guess we can share the uh, the credit for that. So everybody was on board. It just made perfect sense because her voice is like rain. Her voice is like air, water. It's just like natural, and it just like it was a perfect fit. <laughs> I know, <right? laughs> we're talking about you. <laughs> it was a perfect fit, and so it just seemed. It just made perfect sense for her to become a part of the group, and we've been together ever since. And she's, she's a barn. Yeah, she's family, so, so yeah, it was something we worked. Yeah. The Blessing, uh, which is our debut album, our debut project, uh, was born out of me writing a, a bunch of songs. Uh, I've been writing songs since I was uh, a little kid, and. Um, but at the time, right before I wrote the song to the blessing, I had writer's block. I couldn't write anything. And so uh, one day I was at church and my dad called me up to bless the offering. And um, he called me up and um, I went up there. He stopped me dead in the middle of my tracks. He was like, well, hold up. I don't want you to just say the blessing. I want you to sing the blessing. And I was like, Sing the blessing, <laughs> and so, but I was like, you know what? He told me to do it. I'm gonna do it. He was like, it's okay. The band's gonna play some music, and and um, you just just uh, just flow. And so I, I I did that. And so what I did on that day ended up being a song called the blessing. But like the great thing was after I wrote that song on that day, it was like the block was released. And so I just began writing songs and writing songs. And so by us being a praise team, I had the perfect group to sing our songs and it became the album The Blessing. So that's it. So the new album is called Verse Two The, the Awakening. Awakening. And uh, we're really excited about it because uh, we've just we've grown together as a group. Uh, whereas uh, on the first album I wrote all the songs but now we're all getting into writing and um, it's just, it's so, we're actually collaborating. I, I love it. Yeah, it's it a great feeling. Yeah, it is. I've, I've actually started writing also. And, uh, I've never actually took the step to actually do it. I've, I've always thought about it and I've been around it my whole life. But I'm um, not to say it's easy, because it's not easy at all. But when you actually apply yourself, I mean, it starts to come to you. All the ideas come to you, the arrangement of the music and, and so on and so forth. So. Um, it's, a, it's a great thing, great feeling. So. Yes, like this time we have little pieces of ourselves sprinkled across the album. Yeah. I uh, had a chance to come up with some some lyrics and we collaborated on that together as a group. And yeah. I 
I was really happy with what came out of it or what is coming out of it right now. Yeah. I think it makes for a better product at the end of the day. So. True. I just want to say, if this was not our album, this would be my favorite album. It, I'm so <laughs> excited about it. I have, I really believe in this broad product. I really believe in the lyrics. I believe in the message that we're going to be uh, getting out this time around. It's just really, it's just more us now than we've ever ever been. I'm just really excited about it. I love, I love our sound. I love where we're headed. Uh, one of the biggest uh, differences is that we've we've grown and matured uh, not only as artists but as people. Like we're not the same people that we were when we got in the group uh, seven years ago. Uh, you know, Britney's married. Uh, Val's been married for what? Val wasn't even in the group in the beginning, but you you know, matured as as a woman and as a mother over the years. I just got married like a month ago, a month or some change ago. Yeah. And I'm not married. And then we transitioned yeah. <laughs> from, a, from a football player, yeah, um, a, you know, with a full class load to, yeah. you know, being yeah. married. And yeah, when it first started, I was a 17 year old kid about to go to college to play football. Yeah. Uh, obviously, that this wasn't my first priority, but times and we all grow up and things change. So um, I feel good about it. We love it more, and yeah. I feel like we love each other. <laughs> More, we've got yeah. to know each other. Aww. I feel like we got yeah. to know each other. We've bonded. We're family, but we've bonded uh, even the more. Yeah. Just in, even in the last year yeah. uh, than we ever had before. So that's, it's a blessing. The blessing. No <laughs> pun <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, we're family, so we've had a lot of practice uh, making our personalities work. Like uh, for Benaya and myself, it was mandatory for us to make our um, personalities work growing up um, in the house that we. It wasn't that we mandatory because I didn't like her when she was first born. <laughs> you got a lot of spankings too growing up. Just saying, yeah, it, it was mandatory. <laughs> but um, anyway, you know, we just—I think our personalities just over the years have meshed. And, you know, and Val, to me, was just like a smooth transition because she's just with Easy the flow, going, you know. Yeah. So it's just, it just works. It works really well. Um, I love our dynamic that we, uh, that we all have. It's great. I would say for me, my favorite uh, thing about being in a group is... Um, singing with these three people our voices that we they know each other and it's just it's familiar and like it, it, it's like a no-brainer like when we get together i depend on them it's like a, a safety net or a security blanket if you will <laughs> yeah i agree i feel um i know you you you'll see groups over the years and sometimes like there are different voices in the group that kind of don't mesh together well and that's totally not the case with us i feel like with any type of song that we sing with the harmonies like our voices naturally are like in sync together even though they're so different yeah, yeah. it's so different but at the same time it's like one instrument playing one chord yeah and it's, yeah it's a it's pretty cool actually yeah singing with uh the barnes project is like singing with myself that's the best way for me to describe it it's that natural so i enjoy it and they're just great people. Like I, you know, I think more fortunate to not be like, to not be like one of the groups who were kind of pieced together and thrown together. Yeah. Uh, we already knew each other and we were already used to each other and it just, it made sense for us to be singing together. So it's, it feels like home really. So, yeah. Aww. I would say our sound is just a fusion of everything good about music. Um, because between the four of us, we've been inspired by just about every genre of music that there is. Yeah, I, I guess I concur about that. Uh, I feel that it's really hard to put us in one box. Um, like Bernard just said, like we've been inspired by so many different types of artists. And um, 
I think it shows through our music. So. Yeah, I think if I had to put us in a box, I would say we were like a jazzy, uh, soulful, contemporary gospel group. Actually, that is kind of a big box. <laughs> yeah, definitely a big box. Um, I would just uh, say, I guess, to kind of cap that off, uh, I just feel like because we are inspired by so many um, different types of artists and so uh, so many different genres of music, I, I definitely want to just kind of pay it forward. I want our music to be forward. I want um, whatever we release or whatever people hear from us uh, to be something that, in, that inspires. I want to inspire the generation uh, that's to come. Good. Uh, my favorite uh, Barnes Project song, I have two actually, one from the first project from The Blessing called New You, it's a song that uh, Brandon and I sang on uh, together, and then um, my other favorite is from the new album uh, entitled Blue Skies. Well, um, I have two uh, favorite songs from each project. I'll say from the first project, The Blessing, my uh, favorite uh, two songs are uh, Your Weapon and New You. And from the upcoming uh, project, my favorite songs are Heaven and Blue Skies. I have two. One from the first, um, I Know. And um, from the second one, I'm going to have to go with Blue Skies on that one, too. All right, so my two favorite songs would be one of my all-time favorites. Uh, my first one is uh, New You from the first album. Um, me and Benai singing on it, and uh, I feel like there's a nice, nice groove to it, and it's talking about being, you know, the new you, new, new in Christ, and everything. Uh, my second song is a new song that uh, many of you have not heard yet, but you will, will hear soon. Um, it's called uh, Ruby, and it's talking about a virtuous woman. And uh, I like this song because um, Benai is rapping on it, but I uh, come in at the end of the song, and it's, it kind of catches you off guard because the, the music stops. And I come in and I actually uh, wrote uh, my own rap to the song. And, uh, I'm, I feel I'm proud of this because this is like my first uh, lyric that I've ever written before. And uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited about it. So, and it was inspired by my, my, virtuous, new, woman. my virtuous woman, my, my wife. So it's a good thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> most difficult things um, is just uh, finding time to actually be together <laughs> um, because we all have so much going on in life whether it be you know family kids spouses girlfriends um, you know what have you and um, and also um, just making sure that your your voice is is heard I feel like I guess I, I was gonna say the same thing but just on the, the musical side not just a little but um, I guess the hardest thing is like trying to keep up because you always like they're like we're all talented, but like I feel like they're so talented. I'm like, man, I gotta, I gotta come on my A game every time we sing. But it's, I mean, that's a good thing because we you do, you do yeah. <laughs> we all make each other better. And um, I guess that's a good thing about being a group. But I guess a the, the it's a challenge time. at the same time. Yeah. yeah. I gotta agree with Brandon. Like. I always feel like I need to challenge myself. That's probably one of the biggest things because like, like he said, everybody's so talented. And me personally, I didn't sing a lot growing up uh, like everybody else did. Closet singer. Um, <laughs> yes, closet singer. <laughs> um, singing to myself, but trying to gain confidence and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, that's uh, yep. See everything he's done for you. Um, we don't really, ha I want to say that we really have um, a target audience by us being um, youthful. Um, we are definitely um, gear or cater uh, somewhat towards uh, a younger uh, audience, but I feel like our, our music has something for everybody. I've noticed that because a lot of our hooks are so catchy, little kids love the Barnes Project. Yeah, I've I, I found that. So. Yeah. That's true.
Um, I also feel like, um, like I feel like I'm my target audience. I feel like we are uh, first partakers of the messages that we that we put out. Um, it hits us first, and um, like songs like uh, "Get Back," for example, like it challenges me every day to to be better and to just remember uh, my relationship with God and just to nurture it the more, you know, just all the time. And, um, you know, once we do that, then everything that's left just kind of trickles out to, to whoever uh, receives it. It just seems like we have a lot of people who um, are really receptive of what we have to say, and I, I just appreciate it. Everybody, Verse to the Awakening will be available on iTunes in May. Go get it. We're excited. And in the meantime, the blessing is available on iTunes and Amazon. Uh, we've got singles, everything. Also, uh, yeah. if you want to see live performances and you can't get out uh, to see us, there's always YouTube. Um, oh, yeah, you can book oh. us also. <laughs> yeah, book yeah. us. Uh, and um, YouTube videos that you can check out as well. Go on Twitter at Barnes Project. No V. Instagram, the Barnes Project. Right. Yeah. Facebook. Okay, we gotta. Okay, we gotta. Okay. <laughs> is is it the Barnes Project? It is. On Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah.